My name is Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamp here in the UK. Welcome to YouTube Tuesday. Today I thought we'd have a play with some shaving foam. So um, it's not really that I'm going to finish a masterpiece at all. I just want to show you how I use shaving foam as a carrier for some really cool reinkers. So let's get started, shall we? I should all I should really wear an apron, but there we go. I haven't got one. So what we're going to do is use a, a, a plastic container or a plate and we're going to get some cheap shaving foam, shake it up well. I've got Tesco's Everyday Value 26p, can't go wrong. Other brands are available but they don't work as well. Uh, okay, and we're just going to squish a bit of shaving foam like that. That's plenty. And then I'm going to take my, my spreader and I'm just going to spread it out so that it isn't all bubbly. That's plenty, look. I don't need more. The thing is, when you have a, when you, when you do the shaving foam, I think the best idea is to have a session, you know, like get your can of shaving foam, get your spreader, get your inks, get a load of card and make a load of backgrounds. What I want to show you today is just my way. It is not the way, it's just my way. So I've spread out this shaving foam and then I'm going to take some um, of these Distress Reinkers, which are great. And I'll just add a couple of drops on the shaving foam. So I'm using worn lipstick. There's no rhyme or reason to what I'm going to use here. I, I really don't have a plan. But I just want to show you how it works. I've used a little bit of um, squeezed lemon. Let's get a dark colour going. Chip sapphire. Very dramatic. Right, a bit of chip sapphire. I might have to go a little bit easier on the chip sapphire because it's a really dark blue. And then one of my favourite colours, where is it? Tea dye. It's a sort of a boring brown colour, but it really does look good with the blue. I think... Should we do a little bit of light blue as well? Let's do a bit of tumbled glass. Of course, it's going to look more like a circus than a... Okay, well, we'll give it a go anyway. Should we have a look what happens? So, we've done that, and now it's time to mix it up. So, I'm going to take the end of my paintbrush. Coffee stir is a great too. Couldn't find any of those today. And then what I'm going to do is just work my way through, like that, with my... Look... I think if I could convert, if I could transfer these fantastic patterns, look at this, isn't that fabulous? See, actually, on the end of my, my paintbrush is also an amazing piece of art. And in fact, I can't waste that. So I'm just going to, the, in the name of art, I'm just going to spread this across here like that because I reckon I'll see something in it. I will make a picture out of that at some point. I know you think I'm mad, but you're right. You're absolutely right. So let's just spread this colour out like this. Just dance around. Looks great, doesn't it? I may have overcooked it a bit, but do you know what? It's okay. It's fun. So we're just going to spread it out. Doesn't it look good? Right, and when we've done that, the first one, I'm warning you now, the first one always looks a little bit extreme, but we'll give it a go. So I just want to show you, let's just take a piece of card. Have I got a piece of, there we go. And I'm just going to pop my card in there like that. And then maybe just jiggle it around a little bit. And I'm telling you, the first one's way too dark. I know that, I know that already myself, but you've got to start somewhere. So let's take this away and then we'll lift this off now, like that. Okie dokie. Let me just move my stencil out of the way. And then I, I'll take my copy paper, like so. And then I'm going to take my ruler and I'm just going to just, just get rid of it. Let's just get rid of that like that and pop that back in there. There we go. And I told you, 
this one is going to be bright. But look at that. Look at that. That's shaving foam. Can you believe it? I know. It's amazing. So, actually, that went extremely well and I'm very happy. I'm doing a little happy dance under the table here. <laughs> okay, but you get the idea. So it's very easy to do this work. So we'll put this one to one side. This is a piece of art in itself. You don't need to do any more to this. So let's just put that to one side. And now let's go, let's, right, rewind. We'll go back in here. And we've got lots of fantastic colours still going on here, haven't we? So what we could do, for example, is we can scoop up that set, stick that back on there again, and then we can mix it up again. So let's take a look. I want to show you another something as well. I just want to see if we can, let's see if we can do this. Let's just mix up a bit more colour. There we go. Let's just swish around again. All right, it's going to be good. And the thing is, this amount here you could, would yield you, if you like, 25, 30 beautiful pieces of card. And that's worth knowing. But what I wanted to show you was how to use a stencil as well. So let's just take a piece of the jelly card and let's take, um, I really like the stencil, it's one of ours. It's a clockwork one. So let's take those two. And I'll take a piece of copy paper, and again, I'm sure other people have got better ways of doing this. This is my way. Um, I'm going to take some low tack masking tape, and I'm just going to attach the stencil to the copy paper. And then that way, I'm going to do it on all four sides, because we, we want to try and minimise the shaving foam going in underneath the stencil. So the flatter it is, the better it will be. Right, let's have a go. Just do that like so. Right, and then what I want to do is take my spreader, let's get a bit of, okay, take my spreader. We don't need all this ink. We've got in plenty of ink, I think, going on here. And what I want to do is just scoop up some of that loveliness. You see that lovely colour on there? I know. <laughs> messy but fun. Okay, and then what I want to do is actually drop that straight into the centre and then spread out. So I've dropped the colours, if you like, down, haven't I? And then what I want to do is just spread this out over the top of the stencil, like this. And we're just going to spread it out like so. And then I'm going to start scraping it off. So down, colourful sides down, like this. And I'm just scraping the colour off now. I want this to be a lot more subtle than the one, the first one. Let's do this. Right, and then while the stencil's still in place, what I want to do is take a clean piece of paper towel and blot it. Do it while the stencil's still in place. See, the idea is to get that pattern coming through, just in places. I don't want it all over. I just want it in some places. Some of these work better than others. Got quite a lot of white shaving foam on this one. Not so good. But we'll have a go. Let's have a look. I've done plenty of these, and they're always different. You can never get to the same, that's for sure. Now let's have a look. If we take away the masking tape, let's see what we've got, shall we? Just lift this off and let's see if we can see the stencil. Let's check it out. There. Not bad. Not bad. I've done better. I've done better. But you've got the theory. Look, I'll tell you what. There's one I did earlier. There's another one I did earlier. <laughs> and another one. And another one. There's a nice faded one. There's a wild one. There's a beautiful one. This is a gorgeous. Look. This is beautiful. And this is insane. But you see, the idea is that you just make 
a beautiful stash of them. And this one that I did there is already dry. Look, it's already perfect. And even though, this is the funny thing about this, and I, and I have to say this, even though this isn't like fully covered, you think, oh, it didn't go so well. As a stamping background, as, as, a, as, a, as a basis for a stamper, this is actually what you want because you could take a beautiful word, you could stamp something into this, into this um, opening where there is white. So actually, with hindsight, I'm really happy with that. Isn't it great? Look, you can go from something as vibrant and as crazy as that to something as subtle and as lovely as that. So there we are. And that is my offering on shaving foam. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks very much for joining me and I shall see you next time. Bye-bye now.